Hey y'all, happy Wednesday. I'm so excited that you're here. I'm super excited to craft with you tonight and I'm super excited to show you some projects that are already posted but that you may have missed and so we're going to get started with those first before we jump into our crafting for tonight. Sorry, I've got little fuzzies or something from blowing my nose a minute ago. Now my nose itches. So if you have not seen, hey mom, hey Michelle, if you haven't seen our um, ornaments, the 12 ornaments of Christmas that we're going to be doing from now until December, these are adorable. I love, love, love that sea turtle with his glittery shell. And of course, you know, I always love a good old fashioned red truck. So this is the pair that you get this month. You'll have to check. You don't have to join. It's not like a club. Hey, Marv, you just order the box that you want. Every month is going to have two different ornaments, and that's going to get us into our 12 ornaments of Christmas just in time for the holidays. Hey, Lois. So check those out if you haven't seen them yet. They are too stinking cute. Hey, Lynn. So don't forget about those. Also, oh my gosh, this. I love this. I'm making one for every room in my house. I'm in love with this piece. This is a class that we're having this weekend. Love it, love it, love it. That and the windmill. But I posted today <laughs> the class for Sunday. And this is too stinking adorable. And you can get any state that you want. So you're not limited to Virginia, even though you know we love us some Virginia around here. <laughs> so this is the home sign with the Virginia and the little heart you can put wherever you are in Virginia or wherever you are in whatever state you're in. And it comes with the bonus of the ornament. So super cute, super cute. If you can't make the class, you can still order it and say you want it as a kit and I'll pack it up for you. Also, my new obsession. I know you saw it in the Make My Mantle Monday, or at least I hope you did. These Spanish tiles, oh my gosh. We're gonna have a whole bunch of different ones because I am overly obsessed with these. I want them everywhere. I think they're great. And so there's gonna be different patterns of these, but you know what I found out when I was putting some more things on the mantle was it went so good with this. Look at that. And this is one of my all time favorite signs. So to have them look so good together makes me super happy because you're gonna see a lot of those. I love those. All right, now we can craft. Now that we've gotten through all of the cool projects that we've already done, now we can craft. Oh, and did you see that we put up the, I know you did, Lynn. We put up the country charm or the southern charm tiered tray set, and it is adorable. That was Lynn's idea, and we love it, and we loved it just the way it was, so we painted it just the way it was. Um, so make sure you check that one out. We've got three new tiered tray sets coming up as well at the end of the week, so make sure you look out for those. So let's get crafting. All right, so two fun projects. One is a Ray Dunn inspired project, and that's this floral piece that we have here. It's the flower pot with the flowers in it, and of course they are dimensional as well. So we're gonna get started on those. Oh, I'm glad you found some more, girl. I'm glad you found some more. Hey, Robin. Hey, Maddie. Hey, Kim. Hey, Carol. Isn't that state sign adorable? I just love it. And I love that you can get any state. So if you want to do them as Christmas presents, you're all set. All right, let me get myself together here. I don't know. I think I'm a little more organized at the shop when I do these because I just get way too comfortable at home. But I'm enjoying being at home. And so I'm going to keep trucking on. All right. So we're going to paint the flower pot first. And I will probably go back and add some dimension to it after with some, some shading and stuff. But for right now, I'm using dried clay because I want it to look like a clay pot. So we're just gonna get this painted. I've got a paint pen to do the words when we're finished, but these are nice and thick. So you could use a fine line brush as well. But if you haven't invested in some paint markers, oh my heavens, you will thank me later. They are awesome. I love Posca brand, it's my favorite. My husband gifted them to me for Christmas and I am in love. But I think that you could start with any um, and get a feel for what you like and what you don't like. And then, because um, you don't have to buy the whole set of Posca markers like I have. I have the entire set of, of these, fine, thick, and then really wide, um, wide tip. 
but you can buy them individually from art supply stores so you could try them out and see how you like them. This is gonna be adorable. I love this. The other project we're gonna to do tonight is so much fun. And if you were at our first Palooza, you did something similar to this other project um, while you were there. So it's gonna be fun, 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 fun. And I think, I have to verify with Ashley, but I think we have three tickets left for the second Palooza. That is it, just three. So you're not gonna to wanna to miss out on that. I, um, I'm super excited to do another one. I, I think that we will probably um, try to do them quarterly as time allows um, because they're just so much fun. It's such a nice way to get together with a group of like-minded women and men, but we were all women, um, and craft and eat and cut up and have fun. It was just a nice evening of fellowship. So I think um, everybody had a good time. They went home with some amazing projects. All right, so what I'm gonna do now, cause that's flat to me, is I'm gonna add some bright copper. Cause I think this needs some bright copper. Hey Fee, hey Sarita. Yep, Ashley says, yep, three tickets left. I thought that's what it was. Those are gonna go quickly. Okay, so now I'm gonna take this copper. I don't know why I'm doing it right there because that's where it's little, um, 3D piece goes, but oh well. Just going to give it a little bit of dimension. I probably will go back with some black just because, but this will give it some highlights and lowlights. I'm going to do the same thing on here. Some things don't look real obvious to you until you put the whole thing together, and then just those little touches change it. They just make it look so good. All right. So there we go with that. The lid back on this before I spill it everywhere. And I am going to use this grass green to do our leaves. And once I do the leaves, then we're gonna start on these flowers. And I'm gonna show you, I'm using the same color on each flower. So we're gonna have a purple, a coral, and a pink, I think. Um, and we're just gonna do the frame in a different color the frame of each flower to give it some more dimension. I'm super excited about this. I think this is a beautiful, beautiful project. And the lettering is very um, Ray Dunn inspired. So that's always fun. That font, I believe, is the font that she uses on all of her stuff. So let's get these leaves done. This would make a super great gift. I am already in like gift mode. Like everything I make, I'm like, okay, who could I make this for? Who would like to get this for Christmas? Because if I don't start now, I'll never get them all made. This would be a great teacher's gift, although we don't have that anymore. <laughs> no more teachers in, in the... Um, in the system here. I don't think college professors really want gifts from their students. All right, let's get these done. I think I hear one of my children outside the door too, lurking. Yep, she just moved. <laughs> hear her footsteps. All right. These leaves are just about done. I'm gonna go back in with a darker green just to give them a little added depth. That's a pretty color, that grass green. Okay. Pretty, pretty. Now, let's find a nice Maybe holly branch. I think holly branch will work good. And I'm just going to go give them a little added dimension. Oops, that might have been a little too much added dimension there. That's all right. That's okay. A little 
too heavy handed today. The nice thing is everything can be fixed. There is nothing that can't be corrected when you're painting. You just add it in like it was meant to be there the whole time. There we go. I think that looks good. Now we can do the flowers. That's the exciting part. All right, let's turn this around because I'm gonna, I can't reach the other way. Okay, so we're gonna start these out. So we know we're going to do our centers in either yellow or orange. So now I think, now I've mixed them up, haven't I? Good golly. Okay, there we go. All right, so I'm going to do my purple flower in the center. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the frame darker, and then I'm going to add a little bit of white to it and do the center a little bit lighter. And that way you only have to have one color for each one, you don't have to have a bunch of different colors of purples in order to get this done. You can just do the dark on the edges, which is gonna give you a nice contrast. It's gonna take a couple coats though. Purple is one of those colors, it's kinda of like red. You just know you're gonna to have to do two coats. There's no way around it. This is Royal Violet, which is a super pretty color. Even with just the one coat on there, it's pretty. But we are going for a more vibrant look, so we're gonna put another coat on. Some of these colors we're gonna use again, too, on our next project. I love it when we can coordinate some of those colors. I hear my dogs barking. They are not happy to not be able to be in here. Not happy at all. They think they should have free reign of everywhere, but if y'all were watching a couple weeks ago, you saw that they did have free reign and they almost knocked over the whole light ring and everything, so they are banished. They are not allowed to hang out in here anymore. They lost their privilege. All right, now I'm gonna add some white to this purple and turn it into a lighter color that we can then use to do the solid part of the flower. So I'm just mixing this up. I have a little paper paper bag today that I'm using. I'll use anything as a palette. It doesn't matter to me. <laughs> I couldn't find my paper plates, so I had this available. So this is what I'm using. All right, so I'm just going to quick paint this. You're going to see how it all starts to come together with that layer on it. It's really going to be pretty. And then with that yellow center. That's a pretty purple with that white in it. This isn't quite dry, but it'll give you the idea. See how that gives you that dimension? Very cool. I like that. Very, very cool. All right, we're going to do the same thing with each. We're going to do a... We're going to do a coral and a deep coral. But I still think... I don't think that's enough contrast. We're gonna see. We're gonna see in a second if it's dark enough. All right. Let's do this outer part. Oops. Outer part first. They are just mad. They are still barking. It's like they stop for a second to see if they can hear me opening the door, and then they start again. They've been banished to the den.
Now, I think that this one still may be a little dark for this, so we're gonna put it here and add a little bit more white to it just to make it super light because I want there to be a good contrast just gonna get thrown away. All right, now let's get this one painted. This one's almost finished. The next project's gonna take a touch more time, so that's why I'm kind of hurrying to get these done for you. I hope everybody's having a great Wednesday. You're halfway through the week. Just a few more days till the weekend. I think it's supposed to thunderstorm tonight. I think I read that, heard that earlier in the day, although I'm not sure how accurate it is at this point. It still looks pretty nice out there. I do love having a window that I can look out when I'm painting. All right, now we'll let that one dry. That's going to be super beautiful too. Yay! I'm loving these colors. All right, so we're going to go a little more bold with the next one. We're going to use a fuchsia color and a pink. Um, although that's a bright pink too. We're going to have to tone that one down as well. Good thing for white paint, I'm telling you. It does it all. It does it all. Carol, you are... Preaching to the choir, girl. They are the best markers around. And I was hesitant, but they are they are for real, for real. <laughs> All right, got this one mixed up. I'm gonna paint this really quick. You guys will notice that my wood looks a little different tonight. That's because on my projects that I do for you guys for right now, I'm using MDF because I'm having such a hard time getting wood that I don't want to use it for my samples. Now, MDF is great. I do use it on some projects because it is a great surface. Um, but for the most part, I'll just be using it for... Um, for live so that I don't have to use my regular wood because uh, it's becoming increasingly difficult to get it. And we don't have a good lumber yard around here to get it from and so that's causing a bit of a predicament for us at the moment. So if you notice that my pieces look different than the pieces that you're getting, that's why because I'm using MDF for mine it's a light colored MDF, so it's similar, but it doesn't look exactly like your pieces look when you get them. All right. I've got a glare, so I can't really see whether I'm getting good coverage on these or not. Looks like I am not. I think that'll do. All right. I do, however, think we need another coat on this peach one. And of course I dripped peach paint on my pink flower. I even thought about it before I reached across there and I still did it. But that's okay. That is okay. We'll just make it part of the dance. There we go. Okay. So now we just, well I'm just bound to have pink on this all the way around. Now we need to do our magenta, a bright magenta on this flower. Super, super pretty. Ooh, and that is bright. Good gracious. You won't miss that flower coming. Wow. See, 
see. These are going to be super pretty. keep thinking that maybe one of my family members will go make the dog stop barking but as you can see <laughs> that is not going to happen they're just going to let them bark all right let's see now we can start putting this thing together and I'm super excited to see it all finished because I am in love with this oh yellow I forgot the yellow you need our little yellow centers. You can't have a flower without a center. I'm going to use this same peach brush and just paint these. Oh, I should have brought my tape. These little guys are little. Okay. There we go. Turn this around and before I glue things since things are a little bit wet still I'm gonna go ahead and write home sweet home in there and then I'm gonna show you a little trick because it's never perfect let's face it it's never gonna be perfect but there are some ways that you can make it look a little more perfect or imperfect whatever however you want to look at it so I always do the little sections first I don't go all the way down with my letters at the same time if I can help it. And I try to move from left to right. Because then I can rotate a little bit. And they're not going to be perfect, but this little trick I'm going to show you is going to help. Thank you. Said thank you too soon. That wasn't what they were doing, I guess. Okay. All right. Now you can see it's not completely perfect, and that's okay. First of all, if y'all know me, you know I don't care if it's perfect or not, but. What we're going to do is we're going to let this dry. I've got yellow paint everywhere. We're going to let this dry and then we're going to go over it again with some of our dried clay paint and it is going to make everything look like it blends together perfectly. So let's go ahead and glue this together. I'll just keep talking and then you won't hear the dogs barking, right? All right, so let's see. Where's my glue? I had my glue right here. There it is. So we're going to put a dab across here. Then we're going to glue this piece on. 
Then we're gonna turn this thing around and we're gonna glue those tops on those flowers and they are gonna come to life. Look, that's not the right way. Keep on going around till you get it. There we go. There we go. green and come up a little bit here. Just like that. All right, that is beautiful. I love that flower. We'll put a little dot of glue in there and put our center in. Oh, look how pretty. Oh my goodness, I love that. This is a really pretty project. I like this a lot. Now, let's figure this one out. I think it's like this. I do believe. Yep. Oh, these are gorgeous. Just gorgeous. All right. I think I already know who I'm giving this one to. I am knocking Christmas presents off my list every single day. And knocking other things off because we were asked to be part of the um, Arts in the Park. And so I'm, I'm trying to get projects together for that too. So we are going to be some crafting fools for a couple months while we get ready for that event. I don't do a lot of outside events anymore. Like, we just don't have time to go and do things like that. But I do love this event, and I love that this city is still doing it, and so I wanna make sure that we support it. Oh my goodness, y'all, look at that. How stinking cute is that? I love it, those flowers really, really pop. That is gorgeous. Hey, Kim. Hey, Amy. So, so pretty. All right, so I show you that trick, okay? So we're gonna take our brush with our dried clay. We're gonna put some on, we're gonna brush some of it off, and we are just gonna go over it like this, and it softens it a little bit so that it looks worn, and it takes away your imperfections. Look at that. This is gorgeous. This one is a keeper, although I have to give mine away, but that's okay. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. All right, so this is going to tie in a little bit color-wise with the next project that we're going to do, and that project is our three-dimensional pineapples, and these are gorgeous. I love these pineapples. I'm going to show you why. Because they slide right into each other, and you can just set them down. Look how cute that is. Oh my gosh, I love them. I love them. All right, so we're gonna do some fun colors with these because of course they need to be tropical. The sunflower one is to die for. Look at this. Look at that sunflower. How cute are these? Oh my gosh, I love them. All right, so I'm gonna start with some easy ones. Like this one's just gonna be green and, and maybe um, coral color. So let me get my green brush again and we're gonna paint. Now the trick to these is you have to paint both sides because you're gonna see all four sides of these. love these. Oh, they're so much fun. 
I'm going to paint as many of them as I can in the time that we have, and then I will show you a picture of the whole set because I did paint. I have a picture of the whole set. The rest of them are at work. I did paint a whole set today at work. this lighter color that we used. Oh yeah, I like this color a lot. These do have to be painted again on both sides. So we're gonna move on to the next one. Just kind of push these over, paint the next one. That's why I said we may not get to them all. Um, I do believe I'm gonna paint those pink. So, so we can do the green on those now. Those are going to be that bright magenta. I like that color a lot. That is a great color. These would be great as a centerpiece on a table for a tropical get-together. Just as an everyday on your table. They'd be great in your tiered trays. I just think they're very, very cool. We did fall leaves for the Palooza and those were gorgeous.
see about the other sides of these. I just don't want to mess up my fronts. But let's see what we can do here. Let's see what we can do. These are so pretty. So pretty. I want to make sure you can see some of them completely finished before we're done because they really are pretty. We only have a like, what, 10 more days in this month. So make sure if you have not filled out a form for our um, ding dong door hanger that you do so. We will do a new one this month uh, for August. We love doing Fame All Stars for July. Love that door hanger. So glad they enjoyed that. But we'd like to make sure that we're getting good representation for the county. So, um, we also have a Ding Dong Door Hanger Special Edition. We are going to be going to a Hampton business as well, because I may do business in York County, but I do still live in Hampton. So, we are going to check out one of our Hampton businesses. We've had a lot of requests for different businesses in Hampton, and so we are going to do one of those. I'm excited about that. Sorry for a second. I couldn't do two things at one time over here. Um, don't know who it'll be yet because it's auto-generated, but we have divided them up by city, and so we will be able to occasionally throw in a second one so that we can hit all the cities, not just York County. We do like to show off York County, though, because it's, it's where we do business, and we like to showcase those local businesses who have made it through the pandemic and are trying to make sure they stay on their feet to continue doing business. So that's kind of where that was birthed from. I wanted to make sure that we were showcasing those businesses so that we could help them hang in there a little bit longer. Working together, we can all do better. So I want to make sure we're doing so. And it's a lot of fun. I'm not going to lie. It's so much fun. I love doing Ding Dong Door Hanger. Feels like you're doing something wrong. That's not why I love it. But there, <laughs> there is that element of not wanting to get caught at the business because you want to be able to get away and, and then tell them that it's there after you've already been because the element of surprise is nice with that. Okay, this may be my favorite one. I love these colors. I do like that hot pink, but this may be the one. I'm going to do this one, and then I'm going to try to put them together for you so you can see some of these put together. We're going to do the green on these, and this one's going to be blue. This one's going to be my tropical blue one. Got to have one. So I heard on the radio today that August is like the number one vacation month. So if you guys are going on vacation or have already been on vacation, let me know where you've been. We've got a trip planned to see my son, so I'm super excited about that. But I'd love to know where all of you are going because, you know, this trip to see my son is not a tropical island. As most of you know, he lives in Denver, and I'm a beach girl. So <laughs> lucky I love him because I'd like to be on a beach for a vacation, but I got to see that boy. So we'll be headed to Denver in August. So 
but where are you guys going? If you're going. I know last year we didn't go anywhere, but then we're going to make up for it this year. Because, <laughs> of course, we're moving Maddie into school at High Point in August as well. So we'll be going to Carolina for a few days. All right, let's see if I can flip these over without messing them up. So this set comes with five pineapples. It also comes with a little aloha sign. And I think after I paint this one, I'm gonna paint that sign for you really quick. Again, these would be super great in your tear tray because then you got that little sign too. This is just a great set all around. I could see putting a couple of these in a gift basket to somebody or um, they'd be a great stocking stuffer. Put your kids to work painting these because they usually have infinite more patience than we do. This pink is pretty. I don't know. I'm going to be really torn with these colors as to which is my favorite. I like how bold the pink is. Pink is about done. These are so pretty. Oh my gosh. I love, I love these projects that fit into each other. They make me super happy. All right, so I think, I think I'm going Ocean Breeze. I like Ocean Breeze. So I'm gonna put a little bit in the lid right there because my poor paper bag has seen better days. Let's get, let's get some blue on these. Because I may have a new favorite. Oh my, yeah. Blue's it. I don't even have to finish them to tell you that this is the one. This is my favorite pineapple. Even if I did get blue on the green. Oh my goodness, I love this blue. Those are pretty. These are still a little bit wet, but I'm gonna slide them together anyway because I want you to see it all put together without me making a mess. Don't make a mess, Kim. Oh my gosh, look at that. Aren't they too stinking cute? Oh my heavens. I love them. They are adorable. Oh, look at that pineapple. Hey, Michelle. These are too stinking cute. Are you kidding me? I love them. I love them. Love them. All right. So we got these. These are finished. This was going to be my color of choice, but not anymore. I don't think. I like it. 
but it's not my favorite because look at look at all our pineapples. My table's uneven right there. Sorry. There we go. Oh, he don't want to stand up. That's right where the crack of my table is. <laughs> there we go. Look at those two. Oh my gosh. Okay. Let's paint the other side of these because we got to see these. These blue are it. I love them. I love the blue. All right. Let's paint these stems really quick. While I'm painting these stems, I'm going to show you the Aloha. It's really cute. It's two layer as well. And it just says Aloha, which would, like I said, be cute sitting with them, sitting in a tray. They'd be cute just on a tray that sits on your table. I mean, there's so many uses for these. And then the best part about it is if you don't use tacky glue to attach them together, when you're finished with them for the season, you just take them apart and they lay flat to be stored. Because that is a huge issue in my house is finding a place to store all this stuff. So I'm always looking for things that can fold flat to store. All right, let's see. Michelle, how's that baby girl of yours? Oh my gosh, because she just gets cuter every daggone day. Every day. As long as Cav puts her clothes on the right way. <laughs> Poor thing. Do the rest of this blue. Oh, this blue. I must need a vacation at the beach. Good Lord. Get excited by ocean breeze blue. I'm pretty sure there isn't a problem that can't be solved sitting at the beach. Now, I'm going to paint the Aloha. So, I'm going to do the background in this same blue. I don't know if you can see it or not because now I've put pineapples everywhere. I'm going to do this blue and then I'm going to do the top part in white. Aloha and white, and we're going to start putting these together. I'll post a picture with these other two painted as well. So you don't have to sit through that whole process. It works exactly the same. Um, the only thing different with the pine, with the sunflower one, I painted a little more um, green in there for the actual leaves that are in the cutout pattern, whereas everything else I did one, one color just to make it look more like a sunflower. These take a little bit of time, but oh, so worth it. I love them. I'm gonna go ahead and set that on top so you can see it. That really pops. I love that little aloha. That's like a little 
added bonus there. And of course, I know they're wet. I know, but I'm gonna put them together anyway. You have got to see this. Oh my gosh. Look at that pineapple. I love these. These are gorgeous. Okay, so remember, it's a set of five. When you see the picture, you'll see all five of them together for you to order. And of course, our beautiful Ray Dunn inspired flower pot. I love that, love it. And don't forget about our classes this weekend. I also have three more to post for you that I'm gonna get to tomorrow. I can't seem to find enough hours in the day to get all of this stuff done, I'm telling you. But check out the Ornament Club. It's not really a club. You can order as many or as little as you want. They do come in pairs of twos because it's the 12 ornaments of Christmas and you need two a month in order to get there in time. So don't forget about that. And I absolutely love this one. This may be my pick of the week as far as classes go. I think this one is amazing. I love that you get the extra little ornament to go with it. So make sure you check out the classes that are posted and make sure you check back tomorrow for the rest of the classes. Ashley will get these posted pretty quickly and check out the form on our website to um, nominate a business for the Ding Dong Door Hanger. And for all of you who got in on that 30% flash sale for the Christmas items, congratulations. You got some awesome projects and I can't wait for you to get them. You will get an email as soon as your orders are ready for pickup. Have a great night, everybody, and thanks for joining me. Bye.